Hello everyone, this is Midas Touch and today I'll be doing a reading for all my lovely, beautiful and handsome Virgos. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. I hope that you guys had an amazing day so far and today I'll be doing a different kind of reading of what you don't see coming towards you between now and in the near future. Keep in mind that these are general messages, so not everything will resonate. And uh, please also watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign as well, because it may make sense if this reading does not make sense to you, okay? Thank you. Uh, let us begin. Spirit of Divine Light and Guardian Angel, please give me eight cards of what Virgos do not see coming towards them between now and in the near future. Please speak through me and through the cards for the viewers. Please also protect me and the viewers from all harm. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So I feel that some of you guys could be um, already experiencing this where you're uh, going through some sort of grief or you could uh, possibly experience a loss where you're mourning the person who you lost. My condolences go out to you. And if this is not something that you are currently experiencing, this may be a future event god forbids right always want to say god forbids because i don't wish harm on no one or any of their loved ones but i'm feeling like there is a particular virgo that will be undergoing some sort of grief or loss of something and i do feel that this doesn't necessarily means that the person is going to pass away for others of you this could mean that the relationship it may come to an end and you may not you may not like it the fact that it will come to an end and it may have you in your feelings but the good thing that i'm feeling is that you guys have people that are interested in you you're going to have people that are going to be coming towards you more because you have this knight of cups energy this could be a younger person this may be a younger woman or a younger man it may be a um a pisces cancer scorpio i don't know why but i just felt a virgo roll their eyes when i said pisces cancer scorpio <laughs> you possibly had an issue with a pisces cancer or scorpio in the past or they could have rubbed you the wrong way but a lot of you Virgos, you get along with uh, Pisces for some of you, right? But I'm feeling a lot of you do get along with Pisces. And I feel that this person that will come towards you, if they're not a water sign, they are an air sign. So that may be a Gemini, Libra, and an Aquarius. I feel that between now and in the near future, you guys are going to feel more complete. You may be the type of Virgo that feels that you have a lot of things going, but you don't really have the love of your life, or you feel that you're still missing your missing piece. And it's giving me the impression that you could be with someone right now, right? But you still feel incomplete. And I'm feeling the reason why you may feel incomplete is because you know that this person is not your life partner. You know that this is the person that you don't want to spend your life with. But you got love for this person, but you just feel that something is missing. Now, as to why I just said that, I don't know, man. <laughs> but there's going to be a Virgo that will be like, wow. You're actually speaking to me. I don't know why I just said that, but it will make sense to someone because it don't make sense to me. <laughs> but yes, you're going to um, be feeling very much complete. And I'm feeling like there is a Virgo. They feel that, you know, they're successful, right? Or you feel that you're not successful until you have the picket white fence, the love of your life, and children. Children. 
Like you, you always want children or you could have had what I would call steel births or miscarriages. And there is another Virgo. You felt that you had a child out of wedlock and this is not what you desired. You wanted to be married and you feel that this guy that you were dealing with, he wasted your time, but you did not want to abort this child. This child is very precious to you. And for others of you male Virgos, you feel that you had a child with the wrong woman and she get on your last nerve. And I'm feeling between now and in the near future, you're going to meet someone who's going to make you feel you truly belong with them. They're going to make you feel whole this person is going to be extremely generous towards you and this person is going to make you feel content. You're not going to have to worry about if they're stepping out on you. You're not going to have to worry about if they don't value you. This person is a big boss person. They are giving me boss energy. So that makes me feel that this person, they have a lot going from their self. They have a lot going for themselves and they are a provider. And this relationship is going to last because a lot of you guys, you had relationships where you wanted it to last and it did not last. This person is going to fight for you because in the past you found yourself always fighting for people. So this is the 10, and actually I'm running my mouth <laughs> based on the energy, but maybe I need to zoom for you guys to see the cards if you're interested. So yes, with the 10 of cups card, yes, there's going to be fulfillment that you receive from this water sign, man, woman, or it could be a air sign, man or woman. We do not discriminate on this channel. If you're straight, you're gay, you're bi, we don't discriminate. And yes, Virgo, you're always going to be what I would consider. And you know, some of you Virgos don't even take yourself that serious. You are always going to be what I would consider a hot commodity. And the reason why I said that you're a Virgo that people find you very extremely attractive. It's not hard for you to get a man. It's not hard for you to get a woman. You're extremely attractive. And I do feel there's a Virgo. If you don't feel attractive, there's going to be a turnaround in your looks. Because I'm getting this overall energy of people wanting to wine and dine you. People wanting to court you. People wanting to, you know, do the do with you. And yeah. You got the Page of Cups energy. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to be, and I feel you already have this energy about you where it's so easy for you to make a person fall head over heels for you. I'm speaking to a particular Virgo. You make people fall in love with you without even trying. And sometimes you have gotten yourself in little predicaments where you're like, man, I can't believe they fell in love with me and I'm not even in love with them. <laughs> I'm really not supposed to be laughing, but that's the energy I'm picking up. And what you also don't see coming towards you, there is going to be some sort of exposure of someone who is lying towards you. But, you know, the cat is out the bag. I done already exposed them by revealing that someone is lying towards you. So something is going to get exposed. So if someone is lying to you with the moon card, it's going to be exposed. And this is giving me the feeling someone is going to be caught red-handed out in daylight. So if this is not the person getting exposed, I do want to tell you, be careful, Virgo, if you're playing both sides or if you're living a double life with someone, be careful because you're going to get exposed with the moon card coming out. However, I'm feeling like whoever get exposed, wow, yikes. So whoever get exposed, they're going to regret it. 
because they are going to have to learn a very valuable lesson in honoring and valuing a person in their absence. And this is another one of, I do not know why I said that. So someone is going to truly value you in your absence when they get exposed. But I'm feeling like this is not going to really bother you because it's only going to make you see how undeserving and ungrateful this person was of you is going to open your mind up to see how much time you wasted on this person. But don't trip, Virgo, because you have a lot of people that's going to be interested in you. I feel that you guys are going to be celebrating more. I feel that there is a Virgo going back to the white peak and white. I talk so much to the point I may get, you know, stumble across my words because I'm trying to process the message. But I feel that there is a Virgo that be wanting or desiring to have the white picket fence. And it's going to happen for you, this marriage. And there is another Virgo that is watching. You're not really wanting to get married. That is on the back burner for you right now. That's the least of your worries. But I see it happening for you. There's going to be some sort of softening with your heart because you have a, what I would consider a hard heart. Yes, you love people, but certain circumstances in your life has caused your heart to get hard to the point you don't really let people in. You let them in to a certain extent. It's like you, it's like a gate, right? You got the, um, the, the, what I would call the metal gate over your heart. And then you got the electric gate that is <laughs> into um, the depths of your heart. That doesn't make any sense to me, but it's giving me that there is someone that doesn't let people in their heart, period. No matter how sweet you can be to this Virgo, they're just not letting you in to the core of their heart. Because for a Virgo... For them to let you in their heart and for you to decide you're going to F them over, that's like playing with fire. That's like a death wish if you play with a Virgo like that. Because when a Virgo truly loves you, they really love all of you. They fight for you. They honor you. They respect you. And I feel that, you know, the circumstances and situations you have encountered in your life has hardened your heart, but it's going to change because there's going to be someone that's going to be so nurturing towards you. They're going to be sensitive towards you too. This person may have a way with words. They may be poetic or they may just know how to melt you with their words because it's given me someone who speaks so well. And you're a Virgo, you may have what I would say a fetish for a particular tone of voice. It may, it may drive you wild when a particular woman talks a certain way or when a particular man talks a certain way. You like to know that a person is able to articulate themselves. Because you're a Virgo that don't like dummies. It really grinds your gear when a person try to school you and they're dumb like a box of rocks however that makes sense for you virgo because <laughs> i'm i'm feeling there's a virgo like it get on your nerve when somebody trying to say yeah I, I let me tell you about this let me tell you about that but in your mind you're like just shut up because you don't make no sense but enough of that so you're going to have more celebrations in the future. I do feel a marriage is going to happen for you. I know a lot of time people be wanting time frames. So the time frame that I'm feeling, and this was kind of similar to Leo's time frame. I'm feeling anywhere between two to five years. I also am picking up anywhere between three to five years. So that's basically around the same time frame, two to five, three to five. And I do feel for
for others of you, when you will meet this person, you will not be trying to settle down. And you're already, for some of you Virgos, you're already not trying to settle down. But this person is really going to soften your heart. They are going to be out of this world. But it's something so unique about this person because you're going to feel like you already knew them. Because I feel like you guys knew each other in the past life. But you guys just never met each other. So that would make sense as to why you guys are going to be so equally yoked. Like this will be your life partner. So that's what you don't see coming towards you between now and the near future. Now, when I say now, if you guys meet the person now, I'll be pretty shocked. <laughs> but I may want to say in the near future because I'm picking up two to five years. But hey, it is what it is. Thank you so much for watching, Virgos. I really do appreciate it. Please hit the like and subscribe button. You guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.